Hey what's up guys welcome back to another monster video so in today's video we're going to be checking out all the black friday deals i'm going to go ahead and let you guys know my opinion on which ones you should actually invest in like which one you should actually pick up which one's worth it so hope you're all excited if you are make sure you drop a like subscribe anyways we're going to get started Also, guys, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Um, as you guys may not know, today's Thursday, so this is Thanksgiving Day. Happy Thanksgiving uh, to you guys. I'm very thankful for you guys, every single one of you guys watching this. Thank you for all your support. So, anyways, guys, take a look at this. We have a Monster Week Black Friday edition. Some of the most powerful monsters in the game have stopped by by the holiday weekend and are waiting for you in the shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically go through every single one of them, letting you guys know which ones are actually worth it. Moving on, we have a Monster Vault Happy Hour. There's a Black Friday fly sales. So this comes around based basically every single um you know year and uh looks like we have a lot of things going on there are runes there are relics um sorry these are the runes these are the relics uh what is this oh this is the rank up ones right so from rank zero to rank four and then obviously we have the black friday so hold on so 23 to 26 so this is supposed to be right now right these two right pretty sure uh 24 so this is supposed to start tomorrow if i'm not mistaken and then 25 to 27 is going to be the rank up so i'm going to go ahead and most likely do another video for this separately because it's not available right now uh we do have chest discounts and then sell with black friday edition all right cool so with all that aside guys with all that aside let me see what we got going on right now we have a we have a thanksgiving offer what the heck is this 50 percent off food no this is the most scammest thing in the game i don't even know if scammest is a word but you guys get what i mean though right like this this is not worth at all guys you should never spend your gems on food no matter what either gem or, or, or either food or gold for example both of them are not worth it guys now this is always worth it obviously whenever you see like offers a uh, 50 discount i mean this is this is usually like a thing that's normal in the game it comes around here and there right it's always 50 bucks they should have at least reduced it down to like 39 at least 39.99 i mean that would be an actual black friday because th this is like an actual like th this is just a normal offer that they like tend to throw around here and there uh basically every week so anyways guys uh what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check out uh the remaining offers we have a exclusive era offer this i'm not sure if this is part of, i don't think it is this is not part of the black uh friday but i'm gonna still give you guys my opinion so apparently they brought back uv forge or sorry uv fusion as a uh, new monster it's called uv forge and it's a magic and dark attack with control immunity uh trait and trample and remove evasion skills i personally um haven't seen anybody use it uh in the top ranking uh like i'm talking about pvp i don't think anybody really uses that monster here. therefore it doesn't necessarily make the monster bad it's just like even i think this player didn't pick it up yeah loud Tooth didn't pick it up either like that's just the second player i want to see if the first player actually picked it up the first player didn't pick up the monster either so that means that the monster most likely is not as good as you think um i will do an analysis still very soon and let you guys know um you know if the monster is actually worth picking up but uh anyways so we're gonna go ahead and kind of skip that and not really worth it i would say save your gems or save your money for this one not really worth uh plus she might actually come around later on in this right here where you can actually update it to the treasure cave moving on guys uh let's see what else we have here so there is a black friday food edition for 10 million food 5 4.99 now if you're a starter like i'm saying a super starter where you don't have millions of food you haven't even gotten your first million of food you haven't even gotten it right then i would say yes uh this this would be worth it 4.99 is actually not bad for uh, for 10 million food but when you're spending like actual jumps for food is just no you shouldn't you should never do that uh anyways we have a rank two this time it's rank twos what about rank fours i think the rank fours are going to be uh brought in a few days actually remember the 25 to 27 those days that's when they'll actually bring that up so we have um as you see we have sky cold which is actually a good monitor but for rank two uh for only 30 bucks i don't know i mean I you know what i would say for 30 bucks rank two is not bad but i would say wait until um i would say a few days uh a few days in like you know on the 24 five to 27 because i wonder what those rank four monsters are going to be um so sky cold for for 30 bucks and rank two is actually not a bad offer so i would i would pick it up i wouldn't pick this up at all not really a huge fan of oh we have queen salasa this one's okay i would say not worth the 30 bucks i would say Wooters actually not bad either but not good for uh, you know 30 bucks so this is the only monster that's actually worth the 30 bucks okay just letting you guys know moving on let's see what else we have here i'm just gonna keep on scrolling until we find another offer or are those at are you kidding me that's that's it that's the only offer they have up right now okay 
Well, you guys know what that means. We're going to have to head over to the shop here. So let's go ahead and head over to the monster shop and see what we have here. Skycall for 300 gems, 100% worth it. This is one of those monsters, uh, again, uh, that's meta right now and will be meta for a few more errors. So definitely pick it up uh, with the investment. We have a Zajin, not really worth it. Uh, Mauzerk, this is a 50 50 in my opinion. Um, it's really up to you. If you're like lacking in the magic and metal category, this is actually a solid attacker. Ion V2 is actually worth it. So if you want to pick that up, it's a really good supporter. Uh, these two monsters, no, not really. This is actually 50 50 for Team Wars, I would say. But other than that, it's good for Team Wars, but PvP, not so much. Raito Sama, not worth it at all. Carol's not worth it. None of these three nope 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 i'm just gonna keep on moving until i see a monster that's actually worth it okay so let me just keep moving none of these monsters are worth the gems nope not a single one do 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 and some of them are good for team wars but team wars only i'm trying to see if i could find a monster that's actually good for both team wars and pvp um or just like a really good meta monster in general that you can use anyway uh this is actually a solid taunt monster but uh there's just there's just better options out there the reason why i kind of like stopped for him is because he has like a um his stats are pretty up to date that's why uh cleric claws is okay for team wars nope 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 uh if you need a supporter triple damage booster she can do it she can for sure do it uh i wouldn't pick up darman santa for those guys that are like oh what about darman santa nope the original darman is better yeah uh, especially with character's horn i'm just gonna keep on moving okay so now that's pretty much it for the abyssal era uh, moving on to the Galactic Hero, we have a lot of monsters you can actually pick up. Voltic Redeemed is a, it's, he's an excellent attacker. I'd highly recommend picking it up. This is an excellent supporter. We have another really good supporter. Uh, good for Team Wars defenses and PvP defenses. We have uh, Kinecro still. Kinecro's not bad. Um, pretty good. Grind is also worth the 250 gems in my opinion. Darman's also very good. Moving on, moving on. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Robotato's okay. He's pretty solid for Team Wars, I would say. This is also a pretty solid monster for Team Wars only okay uh like i said koi boy i would say koi boy is a better option than uh the previous uh, taunt water monster that i just mentioned from the abyssal era uh moving on let's see what else we ha no heart hiker is not worth it by the way never 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 ambisonic's kind of solid for team wars because of his uh area random positive status effects grateful ted's pretty good 253 gems this is good for team wars and pvp drag bites a 50 50 in my opinion you know if you need a dark attacker that can bypass with like cold blood like taunt and uh, mega taunt this monster is not bad propsy is also pretty solid for steam wars i would say boss of rex is actually not that bad either so kind of worth picking up there as well we have a zarkin that's uh that has random mega status effects um as his uh as his which am i call it is it is it random mega status effect or is it like yeah i think it's random mega status effect that he applies as a status caster um if you actually rank him up so you need to rank him up in order to actually use him um for team wars gravitron is also pretty solid for team wars defenses only so if you're like a competitive player this is good for like the defense uh because it could throw off the enemy with the random positive status effects serpentix on the other hand for 230 gems and you know what i would do if i were you honestly with serpentix i would um save up the 230 gems and actually take it to the treasure cave treasure cave will give you a rank three four basically if you play it right you should be able to get a rank three serpentix for not even 200 gems it should be a lot lower it depends on uh your luck really so me um i've gotten multiple monsters i think the highest i've spent in the treasure cave it was like 150 or something and that's that's my highest for like a rank three which is still not bad at all so uh again serpentix rank three you can easily obtain it through the treasure cave like i said uh moving on king adam with king adam i mean this one's a 50 50 now i mean king adam's not bad but we we're starting to see a lot of other monsters take over king adam so it's really up to for this one um i'm gonna leave this one for you guys i would say it's a 50 50 option uh but anyways naya is still good shadow is still good uh nope not for epic curses force laps is force laps is pretty solid um if you want to pick it up nader is also pretty good for team wars rifle is also still a pretty good uh supporter and that could do damage boost and turn transfer just really for especially in team wars and pvp so it's like that's that's a monster that's good in both then we have duke duke is actually kind of solid as well uh volcanics is not bad for team wars and talica i would i would go with nerda over talica honestly boulder is still a pretty good option uh if you want to use it for maybe team wars uh, as long as you know you can open up the path there's no anticipation this monster would go nuts and it's kind of taking us over to near the end of the blossom era and finally the doomed era guys so ural the divine is still worth it i would say players are still using ural with the dumbbane monster and um Bobby Shear, so those that, that trio works well and then you have a Lyra demon slayer 
still usable i wouldn't pick up cherub honestly if i were you just go ahead and move on he does come around sometimes if i'm not mistaken in the treasure cave so if you want to pick it up from there at rank three uh Govanus is pretty solid still if you want to pick it up uh nope not really a huge fan honestly Elfira, i mean Elfira ha had her days honestly uh there's better better monsters nowadays like dark attackers the snow gross is okay i would say um i like koi boy because he's more up to date but if you want to use him just for his talents and stuff you can uh but again sky cold is a better option don't don't invest in snow gross if yeah it's not really not even a 50 50 i would say for that monster besides snow gross we have clutch clutch is not worth the 207 gems i would say so honestly i, I would skip it again sky cold is to tier top if you have sky cold you shouldn't be worrying about snow gross or clutch honestly then we have monk flam work which is actually not bad for team wars because this monster has that uh block resurrection ability uh you know with his trait and a bunch of tortured immunity uh, as status catcher and as skills and everything so it's pretty good monster overall um i would say even for for example pvp this monster is pretty solid because uh, a lot of players are starting to use ural again because he's meta again so if you want to use him for pvp or team wars he's a solid option but make sure to obviously rank him up uh anyways moving on uh let's see what else we have here to do, do, do. I wouldn't invest in Hydro or P3, R3. Jagar, I would skip it, honestly. Even where Daika, like, most of these monsters, yeah, they're good in, like, specific leagues, but, like, for top team wars nowadays, the top team wars, all you see is, like, mainly ancestral monsters with, like, the most recent uh, monsters from, like, let's say, uh, Doomed Era and higher. And when I say Doomed Era and higher, there are specific monsters. Like, obviously, you can still use where Daika, like, in a weird way get it what i did there but like it, it really just depends on like the enemy's setup the way they set it up for most of the time you're not gonna have a successful chance using monsters like these because uh like their stats are just outdated nowadays you know what i mean um if you were trying to if you're gonna try to make way daika like and let's say you give in triple speed or something that'll probably boost it up a pretty good amount but then again um it, it just depends on like the way the, the enemy's uh base is set up yeah she can be used with the triple damage and stuff but there are other monsters that could do the same exact set of thing you know what i mean so i'm just saying that there are better options and not just that but also stats stats are very important in the game uh so jagar jagar can still be useful but it's just that there are better monsters better options in the game uh and then metro eras guys like most of these metro monsters like gekon would be good for bounty hunt if you want to pick it up for 184 gems it's not bad because that monster is pretty uh it's it, it used it's being used a lot uh, pretty often in bouncy hunt so i would say pick it up uh but moving on let's see kawais would be good for this right here the wastelands book for team wars um mostly monsters some of them you actually see uh can actually be used and it can be very good for team wars for those specific books because those specific books they're not, they haven't been uh up to date like that um recently you know what i mean like it, it's pretty outdated uh most of those books the new ones that are just being introduced into the game or have been introduced recently uh so they're still filling those books up so so while they're filling it filling it up with like newer monsters obviously the, the existing ones are the ones you're supposed to use um so i would say that would be a good option a uh, good thing to do to pick up like monsters like those elgata elgata is actually pretty solid 184 gems i would actually pick it up if i were you uh it's a pretty good monster but moving on pango's not worth it raijin not so much and i think that pretty much brings us near the end and except obviously there's still darkuma i still would pick up darkuma if i were you for team wars because of the random uh positive side effect that he applies and he has taunts and he can basically you know have like soul drag or something else whatever you want to give um because corrupt towns are pretty good but then if you really think about it the soul drag 500k damage that's not really much uh so yeah that's that's just another thing so and like nowadays monsters have three four million life uh back then it would be a huge huge deal but right now not so much so yeah guys um like i said if you want to pick it up you can this one's optional but um i already have the monster i would use it honestly for like pvp uh not pvp sorry team wars defense so some of those monsters that i mentioned uh, they're very good for like team wars defenses um and some of them just goes for team wars defenses only you're not supposed to use it for anywhere else um you can but it's just it's best to use it for defense for team wars if that makes sense but uh there will be more offers obviously very soon they'll go ahead and go ahead and um introduce and once they do i'm gonna go ahead and make another video so make sure you guys do uh you know subscribe and have notifications on for that anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's monsters video hope you guys did enjoy if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe anyways let's see you guys next one peace out